Welcome to WHD Rouse's A Little Greek Boy. Uh, Rouse is a master teacher. He's composed a story. It's in the public domain. A lot of uh, the words he chose uh, come into English. He believed that uh, uh, these students who were in the elite uh, English public school system, uh, nobility, uh, that they could get this story that they could guess many of the words. And so uh, we're using this at Bryan College. And so this is a review for uh, students from the material. And so let's dive in together. Agomen Ami Pideon Hellenikon. So right off the bat, one of the first things I see is this men. And men is a post-positive word that you always have to move up one when you translate. On the one hand, I. So you'll you'll put the men here. On the one hand, ego a me. On the one hand, I am. I am. And then the next thing I notice is that pideon is the diminutive. So if you put eon on the end of any noun, it'll make it the small version of what the noun is. So I'm a pice, I'm a child, but I'm a pideon, I'm a little child. And what kind of little child uh, is he? He's a Hellenicon child. And notice this is a rough breathing here. We get the word Hellenic from it. On the one hand, I am a little Greek boy. And then uh, the first thing I see here is oiko de in uh, agroi. So de, post positive, um, it's from de. And what's happened is the following word has made the short epsilon elide. And when they do that, they're going to put a breathing mark in the word and it lets you know something's fallen out. Uh, so you have a men statement uh, here on the one hand, and then you have your death statement here. On the one hand, I am a little Greek boy, and on the other hand, oiko in agrois. Now, oiko, uh, you're probably familiar with oikos. So that's the word for house. Well, in Greek, uh, this would be the root. And if you want to make something a verb, you can do O, Ace, A, Amen, uh, Ete, Usen. And that makes it I blank, you blank, he, she, or it blanks, we blank, you blank, they blank. So what we have here. Uh, just uh, clean this up a little bit. What we have here is um, the O form of the verb. So on the one hand, I'm a little Greek boy. On the other hand, I oiko in agrois. Now, uh, with uh, Rouse, he's expecting us to see the word uh, agros and connect it with an English word. So what English word is the closest? Well, we get agriculture. So uh, N always takes a dative. So we have N and then this is a dative plural. So on the other hand, I live in the fields. And I suppose Rouse is wanting us to uh, connect that with um, agriculture. So I'm a little Greek boy. On the other hand, I live in the fields. Then we have another post-positive, gar, and we have to move it up here. So for, for there, in tois agrois, there in the fields, georgos tis thrasolos estin. There is, and I think Rouse wants us to add a here. They, there is a certain farmer. That's probably what the tis is doing. 
there is a farmer, a certain one, Throsilos. So all names in Greek mean something. Throsilos means the bold plunderer. So uh, this uh, man lives in the fields. His name is the bold plunderer. And then uh, we have Haas, which is our relative, who. There is Throsilos, who, and if he is a Georgos, you see he's done the same thing with the O, A, A. I farm, you farm, he, she, or it farms. Who farms and has, he has from Echo, a little, there's our diminutive, a little field. Then um says we've had a lesion here. We have the elision mark with this breathing mark. So it's from uh, Ara. Uh, so you ask, um, this is an alternate form of the second singular uh, from Eratao. Uh, so you ask, who? And notice you have the accent on the tis. So this is the interrogative. You have men, and so you've got to move that here. On the one hand, who am I? And then you have your de, so men de. On the other hand, who is Throslos? Ara, erotos, tis men ego, tis de ha Throslos. And then Rouse will respond, and I'm convinced he's conducting his class in Greek at this point. Uh, so he's expecting them, and he's going to expect them to uh, respond back in Greek. And this is how he'll say, I will surely tell you. So, de is surely, I, and then lego is say, I will surely tell you. And then um, you have the post positive again, for I am... I am a technon, Amy Ego Technon. So this is a perfect example where word order uh, doesn't determine um, uh, grammatical function in Greek. Uh, so one of the things we have to just really get in our minds, it isn't uh, word order, it's these endings. So this would be your neuter singular ending from technon. For I am child child of, of the Throsilos. So in Greek, you can put the word the and often do with proper names. On the one hand, I am the child of, Thro I'm child of the Throsilos. And truly, uh, other children, you see how you, you have these agree, so alas, sorry about uh, just learning how to write with this uh, tablet pen. Um, uh, on the one hand, there are other children, alas, ale, ala, so this will be your neuter plural, neuter plural. Uh, on the other hand, ha thrasalas, and so you've got your nominative in your nominative article. So this this is the subject in Greek. Uh, on the one hand, Hothrosalos has techna Allah, other children. Uh, and again, we have post positive for, move it here, ego me, I am techna Altu, child of him. And I suppose you translate that even, for even I am his child, and I have, so echo is have, and it's O, A, S, A, uh, and I have a Adelphon, Tekai, so this is both and, Te is post positive, so you move it right here. And I have both a brother 
and then what looks like brother, but it's feminine, so a sister. And I have a brother and a sister. Uh, and so that's what we have. Uh, we'll discard these um, marks. Um, and uh, I will see you next time.